hello there. What up? Do Daisy. I am Jason. V third eye. V one eye. If you remember from me from the past, I promise you, I'm not that person anymore. I have grown. I have healed. That doesn't mean I'm perfect. I'm still learning how to live, how to be the best version of myself. I still get angry. I still say mean things to people. I still hurt people because I am hurt. But I also don't pretend that I'm perfect. Don't hold me to any standard. Like I'm just a human, like everybody else. I haven't daily vlogged in a it, since June. I wanted to continue those daily vlogs throughout the rest of the year. But the reason I couldn't was because I went sailing in July. It kind of screwed everything up. I tried a daily vlog on the boat. It was near impossible doing that all the time while you're trying to edit and film. Like imagine a tripod just doing that without knocking it overboard. It's impossible. I'm very angry today. <laughs> well, one of the reasons, let's just get into this. I want a daily vlog again, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so they might, they might not be the best quality right now, but I want to post something to talk to you guys because I like this daily interaction. I like being able to respond to comments. I think it's the healthiest way to get interaction in my life at the moment because going out and putting the effort to meet new people, it's just, it's exhausting. There's so many people that want to hang out with in the UK, but they just, <laughs> they're showing no interest. And it's like, okay, well, whatever. Maybe we could be friends, but if you if you like this now, then I just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered with some people. A bit of a rant, I'm just going to get into it. I'm tired of wearing everything I own. I'm literally wearing two thermals, really baggy pants that I keep catching my toe on and tripping over. I'm wearing two coats, a hoodie and two shirts. It's just, every time I like do anything, it, it makes me sweat in the armpits. I don't have full range of motion because I'm wearing too much padding. It's just frustrating. It's just, I want to be able to wear shorts and maybe one shirt, go about my day without difficulty. It's heavy and it's just exhausting. Like, this room sucks. There's holes in the roof. Let me show you. Up here, there are holes. Birds, bats, bugs, leaves, wind, rain. Everything comes through these holes. Right now it's six degrees Celsius outside, meaning it is six degrees Celsius inside. I don't own a heater, so I'm just wearing everything. I'm usually in a sleeping bag indoors all the time. I'm tired. I'm so tired. It's only December. I'm leaving the UK this month in a few days. That's kind of when I w why I want to day vlog again, so I can bring you along on the journey and show you that it is possible to do crazy things like move country in a pandemic. It's possible, and I want to prove it. So this part of the house, the estate refused to fix it. We've asked them many times, we say, hey, the roof's broken, it's got holes in it, the floorboards are rotting because there's holes in the roof, and they're like, Eh, don't care, you're still paying rent. If it was up to me, I would stop paying rent and I would protest until they fix the roof. But yeah, it's not my house, so I'm just gonna be submissive and uh, forget about it. I, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I get the urge to smash things all the time. I have to stop myself because I, I damage my hands a lot. I have a lot of hand scars from just punching things. And it's something that I've really got to work on, but it, when I'm not in, in the environment that my heart needs to be in, I know that my heart hurts. I don't belong in a cold environment. I don't belong in the UK. And I've known that for a long time and I keep running away, but running out of money and coming back. I've never actually moved out and stayed out. Like last year I spent six months in Germany. That was great, but freezing. And I was in a difficult relationship. <laughs> it was just bad because we didn't know each other. Neither her nor my fault. It's just we didn't know each other and long distance we decided to move in. Bad idea. This time I'm moving out alone. I'll be living on my own for the first time ever. So if you don't know, I'm moving to Valencia, Spain in a few days. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna live on my own and go to the beach every day. Create. I just need a space where I can be alone. No distractions, no responsibility, no one calling me or texting me saying they need something from me. Like so many people ask me to do all, all, all kinds of things, but I don't work for them. I work for myself and I can't give them my time because I'm not earning any money from them. I'm happy to help people if they need help, but like asking me to do things 10 times a week, it's just, when is it too much? <laughs> well, now. <laughs> now, I refuse to help people anymore. I need to help myself first before I can help anyone else. I'm okay with that. I want to tell everyone that it's okay to be selfish, especially when you don't feel all right. Like be selfish right now until you feel better then, then consider helping people. <laughs> so I've been in this, this, this cold space for a month, maybe two months. I've just been editing because it's raining outside, it's winter now. But I really can't do anything out there. Um, I haven't really been doing many drugs. I did a couple of weeks of edibles, but I was also editing at the same time as that. So it wasn't really like I was enjoying the drugs. I was just calming myself down so I'm not angry all the time. I feel like this channel, I'm a, I, I can get vulnerable because I trust you guys enough. <laughs> you know me, you've seen the ups and downs of my life. 
Like, there's nothing that I have done that hasn't been broadcasted over the past eight years. I'm okay with it. Like, I'm not a perfect person. I like to be transparent because I think that it, people gravitate gravitate towards realness. And there's so many YouTubers that just aren't real. They're so fake and crafty and it's manipulative. I don't think it's good for the audience to watch someone who isn't real. So, hello. I am real. There's nothing that I do that is not me. I don't talk in any specific way to try and make it seem like I'm more energetic than I am. Like, if you're watching a Mr. Beast video, he's like, What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna give away all my money! He's not like that in real life. There's no way. The reason people shout in videos is so that they can keep children's attention. That's the truth of it. So Mr. Beast caters towards 5 to 15 year olds. Majority. I would say. And the only way to keep their attention span, because they're all ADHD and can only watch things for two and a half seconds, is shouting and constantly cutting around. I spent a month editing a video, knowing the whole time that I wasn't going to earn any money from it. But I created it anyway, because it was a passion project. It's something that I believed in, something, it's a piece of work that I wanted to get out into the universe. It's a part of my energy that I wanted to share, and it's uplifting, it's a positive video. But I, the whole time I was making it, I was like, I know no one's going to watch this. I'm going to get a few thousand views from my subscribers and then it's going to die. And at the moment, it seems like <laughs> I was right. My channel just does not want to be suggested anymore. And it's frustrating. But I know that I just got to continue posting. I have to continue posting, trying to please the algorithm, please YouTube. Yeah, maybe this passion project will start getting views in the future. Like a few years time, who knows. If you haven't watched it yet, it's called I Walked Across the Country in a Straight Line. And it's on the main channel. And yeah, that's, I basically did that. I walked from England from west coast to east coast with a group of strangers from my YouTube channel. They found me. And I think it's great. It's a piece of work that I'm really proud of. This, my main channel, I haven't been posting things that I am proud of. I've just been trying different things the past few months and nothing's like popped off. So I know that I need to really, really figure out what to do on the main channel. Otherwise the main channel is going to die. Like it's not dead yet, but it's dying. And I need to, I need to find a series that pops off. I'm not going to think about that today. Today, I'm making this. This is just me saying hello, I suppose. And I wanted to show you the actual edit. So, go over here. Yeah. Right. So this is, this is what the edit looks like if you're curious. If you don't know anything about video editing, I'll try and explain it all. First of all, this laptop is Steffi Lee's. My old one broke, so she gave me her, her old one. It's great. It's been working great. Let me, let me just explain a few of the problems. There's no Bluetooth. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no trackpad, so I use a mouse. I have a USB dongle that goes in there for the internet. This hard drive, if you touch it, it disconnects. And it's really difficult to like keep it still. If I touch the table, it'll disconnect. And then it'll crash all of this. Despite all that... Oh yeah, and there's a fan that isn't working that I need to replace today. Despite all that... Oh wait, there's one more thing. The charger wasn't working. Even though it was plugged in, it wouldn't charge. Sometimes when this is fully charged, it won't turn on. When you shut it, it still uses battery. It's a lot of problems, but anyway, this is the edit. This is the entire thing. The video is 35 minutes long. Each one of those little lines is a new cut in the video. And the bottom ones are audio. So I've got voiceover here, music here. And then these are video and these are subtitles. So many cuts. Can you see all that? I think you can get an idea of how much time I put into this thing. I would really like people to watch it. It's something that I'm very passionate about, very, very happy with the outcome. All the comments have been saying that like, it's my best work. It's still not going to get any views, even though it's my best work. It won't pop off. I don't even think it will hit 10k views this week. Back in the day, I used to get 100,000 views in 24 hours. Just to give you some perspective of how my channel has dipped. If you're curious, I can get into the analytics of my main channel. The main channel is about 8 years old, so... As you can imagine, I probably, I've probably i lost a lot of subs over the year. Like, YouTube likes to purge subscribers without telling them. People just decide they don't like me and won't leave. Um, just normal, normal stuff. If you're interested, I can dive into the analytics and show you what a mess that channel is. I think I've lost like 300,000, 400,000 subscribers or something on the main channel. It's crazy. <laughs> That's why I like this channel more on the second channel. I feel like this is my actual channel. The main channel is just an archive of pain. That's one side of what I do with my day. The other side of what I do with my day is I sit here, I watch YouTube on my iPad, and I make crystal necklaces for my shop. By the way, don't buy Doritos. I'm addicted, and I need to cut the addiction because they're, they're cardboard. They're not nutritious in any way. They're really bad for you. Don't eat them. It's just, like, for fun. They're very, very simplistic because I like the simplistic style. But yeah, I've got tons of them. If you're interested, my store is just vthirdeye.com. I write a little notes, so that's what I'm doing here. 
I write a little note with every package. And I've got these orders to um, ship out on Monday or, well, Saturday even. But yeah, loads of, loads of little things. There's more more over there. Over there, I have like a bunch more. They're all kind of dangly. Oh yeah, I want to show you something else. I don't have a water filter at the moment. Um, I'll buy one when I go to Spain. So I drink bottled water because I don't trust the taps here. I just don't trust that the government providing the water has my health as their number one interest. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So I've been storing this month all the bottles instead of throwing them away and recycling, I've been storing them here. And just to give you an idea of how much water I actually drink, yeah, there's a, a lot of bottles there. I, I wanna make something with them, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make, but I wanna make something like creative instead of like recycling it. Cause I don't trust that e even recycling actually gets recycled. There's just so much liars in this world and liars make the most money. That's the frustrating part. So people in power, generally lie, cheat, steal to get to where they are. That's not true for everyone, but for the most part, that's what I've experienced. So I don't trust that recycling gets recycled. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm supposed to be going to hang out with my sister today, but she is still asleep. It's like 3 p.m. Sometimes when she asks to hang out, I just, I just give up on the idea because I know it'll take a few weeks before she actually invites me over and then she'll be asleep for the entire day. I'm just sat waiting. Oh, right, would you look at that? Disc not ejected properly. I bumped this with my shoulder and it disconnected and crashed the entire thing. That's been happening the whole time I was editing it. So, Wales gets a few hours of daylight a day, but the daylight looks like this. Let me turn off the light and show you how dark it is. I wake up and it looks like this in the middle of the day. Can you even see me? I can't even see the camera right now. This is the amount of light that comes into my body. I'm suffering because of it. I'm a vegan, I eat plants. You are what you eat, therefore, I am a plant. If I am a plant and I'm not getting enough water and sunlight, I'm going to die. That's my thinking for moving to Spain. I don't even know what this, this looks like on the camera. Can you see anything? Look at how dark it is. That's my desk. That's how much light I get. That, that is it. Ah. So I miss coming outside and filming every day. This is what it's like. This is Wales. This is, I get six months of this for winter. I've avoided winter in Wales for the past six years because I've been traveling. Last year I was in Germany. Germany was also freezing. The mountains are covered in snow. It's predicting to snow here, here on the mainland soon. This is uh, daytime. It's gray. It's just gray. It's just, it's just gray. It's gray all the time. It's raining all the time. I can't exactly vlog in this weather. <laughs> I still go out and get an hour of daylight a day, get some, some light on my skin, but it, it's just not healthy. Like humans shouldn't li live in these conditions. It's just, it's unreasonable. There's no reason that the UK should be populated. This, this whole island should be a nature reserve. No one should be allowed to live here. There's so much space in Africa, like, take us there. Why do we all settle here? You're probably thinking, like, why are you still here? Well, I'm saving money. I've been working really hard, saving all my money so that I can go and live somewhere else. That's basically what I've been doing my whole adult life is just saving money so I can go somewhere nicer. And this time I'm actually going somewhere to stay. Yeah, some people love this kind of crap, but not me, not me. To end this video, I just wanted to say where I'm moving, why I'm moving, what I'm gonna do when I get there. So I picked Valencia, Spain. It's on the East Coast, kind of in the middle of Spain. I'll be driving from here through England, through, through the West Coast of France, and then down past Barcelona into Valencia. I picked Valencia because it seems like it's very similar to Los Angeles. The way it's laid out, um, and the architecture and stuff is very similar to LA. LA was built by Mexicans, who are Spanish speaking, and Spain is Spanish speaking, so it makes sense the architecture is, architecture is similar. So I picked that spot because I need the ocean in my life. The ocean is the best thing for my skin. I get acne, even though I'm 28 years old, I continue to get acne, and it doesn't seem like it, there's anything I can do to make it go away 100%. I can eat and exercise as much as I want, but if I'm not getting any salt water on my skin, it's just never 100%. Lately, I've been feeling just kind of sick. I haven't been eating very much. Um, ever since I posted the video, it's been a few days since I posted it, but ever since I posted it, I've felt like I don't have any purpose anymore. That's been my my only focus for the past two months. And now that it's over, it's like, oh, what next? So my, my what next is moving. That's my only focus now. I'm doing everything I can to get ready to move. I am very excited about it. I'm very excited to leave this place. I'm excited to make videos of the journey down there just to prove that it is possible. Like so many people are telling me not to leave my house, stay locked indoors, wear a mask, don't touch people. I'm like, screw you, my health is great. If I get sick, I'll stay indoors for sure. But I'm not gonna get sick. 
because I look after my health. I look, I've been looking after my health before the pandemic. Like the news should be just blasting health tips, how to get healthy, but instead they're just promoting fear. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off track. Uh, my mind is kind of scattered. It's hard to really zone in. These daily vlogs really help me focus on one thing. If I have a topic, I can just focus on that, edit it, post it, and then my mind feels clear again. So each day, I'm gonna make something, even though the weather sucks. I'm gonna make something just to kind of keep this connection with you guys so you don't forget that I exist and that I, I'm also human and I'm also struggling. I'm trying to, trying to just make the best life for myself. I wanna show the process of it because I think it's, it's interesting to see how people survive. And there's not enough people really making things. There's not enough people making things. There's so many creators that I follow that just haven't posted during COVID. They've, they've just been hiding away and it's sad. Like I, I need those people. I rely on those people for my own happiness. Not entirely, but you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Because it's on the coast, Valencia, there'll be a lot of sailing opportunities. And a lot of rich people live kind of in the Mediterranean in that area because the, the ocean's warm and there's not really much weather in the Mediterranean. I can get work, I can get sailing opportunities, I can fix boats. Um, there's a lot of money to be made in the sailing industry. So that's kind of why I want to be in that area. And also my dad's boat, he wants to take it down to the Med. So if I already have a base there, then I'll be there for when the boat arrives and I can help them like dock and give them a place to stay if they need it. Also, weed's legal in Spain, so that's a huge thing. I haven't been posting any drug content because it gets demonetized, and, and I haven't been doing that many drugs, so, especially not psychedelics. I think I've tripped once this year. I think I ate like 20 mushrooms. That's it, that's all I've done. It's because I don't take psychedelics if I'm not in a good headspace. If I'm not happy, I don't take them because it always ends up bad. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the struggle I've been going through this year. Because of that, I've been really lashing out at my friends. Like the people I talk to the most, I've been hurting them the most. And as a result, I've stepped back away from those friends and <laughs> I haven't really apologized to any of them. I'm just kind of, I'm just mad at myself for getting angry at other people when it's not anyone's fault. Everyone's got their own struggles and no one deserves to be shouted at or argued with. <laughs> I'm getting off, off topic constantly. Because weed's illegal there, I'll be able to make edible cooking videos. I want to teach you guys how to make edibles because so many people that smoke weed have never tried edibles. They don't know how to cook edibles. And that's fascinating to me. You're willing to burn your drugs and inhale the fumes, but not cook it and eat it the way it's supposed to be consumed. So I want to make some cooking videos and it'll all be legal and fine and YouTube can't complain about it. This video is way longer than I wanted it to be. I'm not going to ask you guys to do anything. Maybe just check out the main channel video. That would mean a lot. Uh, leave a comment on it or maybe share it. Just I want it to reach new people, the people that need it the most. So if you have a friend out there that's really struggling, maybe they're stuck indoors and don't know what to do with their lives, like show them that video, the video of me walking in a straight line across the country. Uh, I think you'll like it. That's my thoughts. I think you'll like it. I have one last thing I'm gonna do before I leave Wales and that's gonna be when there's a clear day, if there is one. I'm gonna hike the tallest mountain because it's half snow. So it's such a like mental challenge to walk half a mountain in the snow barefoot. I did it at the beginning of the year and I'm gonna do it again. That's all, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, daily vlogs, doing it again.